is up? It's finally here. I'm a little late with my reaction. Actually, I filmed my immediate reaction while I was at work today. Um, I actually didn't think I was going to be home this early, so what I did is I watched it on my lunch break with my phone directly under my work computer and recorded a really weird close-up of my face with some crappy sound and fans in the background to, to capture the initial reaction to it. And now I am going to then go back and rewatch and break down the scenes I seen, the scenes I saw. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna rewatch the trailer once through, geek out a little bit, then I'm gonna go back through and kind of analyze scene by scene. And then hopefully throw that reaction from my office. I'll do a little editing, see if I can get it on and do it like a normal human would. So without ado, let's get into what we've all been waiting for, the Wheel of Time official teaser trailer. Anybody that knows me in real life, if you find this video and judge me, I will find you. All right, here we are. And I'm just gonna let it go once through and see how things go. I'm just gonna watch it through. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna pause. I'm just gonna let it go. Be strong. All right. So that must be like some type of training for the those two um, to be the village wisdom. It's the boys. And ages come Gwyn past. looks good. Ran looks beautiful. Nynaeve looks judging. I don't know. That dude's come sad. Down. I'm guessing this is Tarvalon. There it is, drag him out. Moraine. Inside you. All over the world, this must be after she just got yeeted off that cliff. But it's one thing. Tower. Looking bad. One power. And women who can touch it. Winter night. We protect the world. Look at that. No matter what happens, it's gotta be Shadow Loga. One pain we face, a heartbreak. Wolf boy. The wheel keeps turning. I think that guy plays Tam. The Dark One is coming for your friends. Okay. Daniel Henny looks like a badass. Although the Whatever baggy happens, shorts are definitely a little uh the me draw, terrifying. Fuck. Let's go. Oh so obviously I watched that once already, so my those jump emotional reactions are gonna be in that part but now oh my god amazon piss off of this stuff but i'm gonna go back through and we're just gonna check some things out so we've got our first frame here of the trailer which is Nynaeve and Egwene um uh, madeline madden and zoe uh, i forget her last name but they are be strong. Doing what I'm guessing is some type of training for the to be a wisdom uh, in the books. Egwene is supposed to become a wisdom, I believe, right? So she is just fucking yeeting her off this cliff. Um, so she's got her hair in a braid at this point too. Um, Nynaeve has her thick ass braid. These costumes, these dresses look pretty good. Um, they look like basically what you would see in uh, the Wheel of Time's version of Appalachia, which is what I imagine Emmons Field as. So, yeah, those costumes are pretty good. Now she'd be swimming. Here's our river valley that uh, the two rivers must be the wheel in. Of time turns. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go back to the village green. Um, I think I remember them releasing. This was like the the painted picture they teased us with, and I don't know if this back here is the wine spring or not. 
could have sworn the wine spring in was the only one that's supposed to have tile roof on it i don't know if this is thatch or tile i don't think that matters it's a tree in the middle of town obviously this place gets tore up from the floor up on winter night but these costumes all look pretty good a little worn down not too over the top gaudy i like it looks a little cgi but i'm sure there's gonna be more production all right time turns next scene i mean there's our boy jo josha um Karen is played by Marcus Rutta, and then uh, Matt is Barney Harris. Yeah, Barney Harris. So it's the boys. Uh, costumes look good in this. The end, the lighting looks weird with this super god rays coming through, but. Hold on. Look at that fucking smile. That is Matt. Like, that is Matt. Coffin. And, like, this kind of calm, subdued ginger happy ginger boy with a, a little shy smile to his face that's rand we got perrin over here i like him as perrin um i think he's gonna do a good job just you kind of got him being like matt you're an idiot rand's got that like shy you're an idiot but look at that fucking that oh that is matt um i don't think they start the series with beards but they said they're supposed to be grown up in this and i can i kind of like it to be honest with you like i don't know if these guys were actually allowed to like drink alcohol in the village before they left but i guess this isn't necessarily alcohol and ages Egwene looks good like that looks like a good dress for like where they would be at the time looking like she I don't know. She just looks good. Like, that's how it's, you know, she carries herself. Look at that smile. Hold on. And ages come. Our boy. Got that red hair. I would have imagined it a little longer at this point. Like, kind of dirty, like, poor farmer style. Almost longer than I have mine right now. Uh, maybe... I don't know, like, a little bit longer than mine right now. Who knows? Look at that, though. That is a good-looking dude. I think he can play Rand well. This looks like the guy that kind of will be able to capture the psychological emotions um, that Jordan writes Rand as. Um, this is something I've thought since the beginning when I started looking at his social media and stuff like that. He looks like someone that could show the steelness that we eventually see with Rand. Um, I'm not going to get too far into that because of spoilers, but anyone that's read the series, I, I think you would understand what I'm trying to say, and I hope you agree with me. And pause. Nynaeve, Nynaeve, looking... Like she, she looks like what I thought of Nynaeve as because I think when I started reading the series, halfway through Eye of the World or early in Eye of the World is when they announced the casting. So she kind of took over as what I imagined Nynaeve as. So I guess it's not really fair for me to say that, but she looks, she looks the part. Oh, one thing I noticed immediately when I first watched that, it, this little scene here, Leaving. there is one, two, three, four, five, six horses. So we've got the three boys, Egwene, Moira, Moraine, and Lan. There is no Tom Marilyn leaving with them. So Tom will not be leaving Emmonsfield with them. I don't know if that was confirmed yet, but I'm saying that I believe that he won't be with them. In memories. So at first I thought this dude was uh, Luce Theron and this was like a flashback to him realizing he had just killed his family perhaps. But someone I saw, I was watching Daniel Green's reaction video and someone had said that this might be um, a warder that just lost his eye, the eye to die. become legend that's a cool scene hold on let's go back so this is tar, tar, 
Tarvalon, Tarvalon, Tarvalon from the streets. Looks pretty dope. Color's cool. This is from it from the top. There it is. We've got Dragon Mount. It's a volcano. Who would have thought? Honestly, in the books, I actually thought it would be even higher than this. Um, just because, I don't know, the way, it, the way it describes it, it's almost like it sticks like a mile into the sky or something like that. And so I don't know, I, thought, I figured it'd be more steep and spooky. But either way, the city looks kind of cool. Um, I guess I didn't think of it as much of a hill like this in the center, and I thought of the white tower as more of a protruding wiener in the middle of the vagina island, which is essentially what tar you know the city is. There's a lot of trees in the streets. Um, I didn't think there was like trees and stuff like that. I just noticed you can see the actually you can see the wall here, but it, it looks awesome. Like, like. I'm very excited. Kind of reminds me of Dorn, but I don't want to compare the two shows, so I'm gonna not make any cross references like that again. Boots. It's about boots. Power inside. That badass entrance. I'm guessing this is after she gets pushed into the water, part of that training. Hang on. So this is the first scene that stuck out to me: is how colorful their dresses look. And, I mean, I suppose they are in the hall of the tower in this, and they're in front of the Amarillan seat, so they need, they're going to be wearing their best stuff, their cleanest things, uh, their gaudiest outfits. So, I guess it fits. So, my, my initial reaction was it just seemed too bright and colorful compared to, the like, the lighting and ambience of the rest. But, if you're in front of the boss, you dress your best. But it's one... There she is. She looks like Suan Sanjay. Um, I don't know. If I don't get at least one Silver Pike reference in the first episode, I'm going to be upset. I don't. Did she have tattoos in the books? Either way, they look cool. Don't care. She looks like a badass. So, Moraine is stabbed through the heart apparently and she's being healed these are what the flows look like they kind of look like smoke yeah so here's more flows smoke we got emmonsfield burning on winter night she's just kind of fucking yeeting off flows i'm guessing she's calling the lightning down from the skies um they kind of swirl around her i don't know how i feel about that also the fact that they're all the same i think I would hope that like the different elements of flows would look different. I mean, I guess if she's just calling down the weather, calling down lightning, it would be the same kind, but I'm hoping the is it five different flows are shown differently in the show. Women who can touch it. Red Sisters, this lady looks like I hate her already. She kind of reminds me of that gun girl chick from the first look or something like that. Uh, I just don't like her from looking at her. Um, I don't forget what that girl's name is, but like this, this lady reminds me of her and I already don't like her. But Red Sisters dressed like Red Sisters. They're proud of it. They want you to know. They just all look so grumpy. And then I don't know who this actress is, what her position is. She's got some brown sisters here. I don't know. She looks like she's wearing white. So, I don't know who that would be. We protect the world. Oh, and then the, the voiceover in the background is basically just them uh, talking about what Aes Sedai are. So, I'm wondering if this is going to be more Aes Sedai centered off the start and kind of, I don't know, and be more about their order. We'll see. And less about the world as viewed through Rand's head and the boy's head as it is in the beginning of the Eye of the World. Um, we'll have more of a third person perspective of the world rather than... I mean, Jordan writes in a third person or however he writes, but it still is quite viewed through these village kids' heads. 
Um, one of the gripes I had when I watched this the first time is this dude's axe looks kind of goofy. I don't know if you agree with me or not. His outfit actually looks a little better second time around. This guy looks a little funky. I don't know. I think it's just the pants. And, like, they're fucking backwoods people. They're not going to have amazing pants. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Nynaeve's braid is thick. Look at that thing. And those are some stout Two Rivers clothes. Look how stout this is compared to this garbage on what I think people have said might be Alana. She's a green sister. She's got two warders. Um, which means, well, won't get into that. So we got more flows. This outfit looks a lot better second time around. I feel like these should be more worn, though. Like, these look like they're brand new made for the set. But then again, I said I are rich. Not rich, but they should have nice... Like, they, they present themselves. They're not slacking. Like, they always look good. Like, the, her warder looks chalked up. Except for this, these... I don't know. We'll see. This bow kind of looks dookie. But then again, it's not... It's not modern times, but it's not medieval times. So it's this awkward in-between that I think we're not used to seeing um, on TV. So I think it's going to take some getting used to. <coughs> so she blocks the arrows with a weave. Um, got some horses around here. One thing I noticed when I first watched this is I thought the outfit, I don't know, I just thought the way they were standing around looked kind of goofy. Like, what could this scene be? Like, I hope we don't have scenes where people are just being stupid and doing, like, stand, I don't know. Maybe it is just an ambush. It seems weird that all these people would be standing here like this. Maybe they're having a confrontation. But Lan is in front of Nynaeve like this. With apparently Alana, Alana's two warders, three red sisters, some other folks. I'm guessing this guy is her. Well, there's two, there's three green sisters. So I'm guessing these are Alana's two warders. Then the, these are probably this lady's two warders. And then these dudes are her two warders. Yeah. So... But I can't remember in the first book when Lan and Nynaeve would be alone like this. So I'm not sure when this would be. And so the party's clearly split up at this scene. So I wonder what happens. Fucking shot looks amazing. City looks dope as fuck. Looks huge. Here's one of the bridges. Bridge looks good. I can't remember if they were supposed to span without any support in the middle. But I really don't care. Um, I hope this is real landscape and not CGI. But obviously the buildings would be CGI. But we got the wall around the city. We got... I don't know if this is North or South Harbor. But you know, we found it. Can't confirm we can find it. We got that Lord of the Rings panning sweep of Matt and Brand. That looks, that's such a sick sweeping shot. One thing I noticed in the background, this like second time I watched this is there's a big ass city back here. And I don't know what that city could be. I mean, it's Matt and Rand together alone. So it could be Camelin, but I don't think Camelin was on a river like this. It was in the plains. It was far from the river, right? And... It's just those two together, so unless they go to another, it could be, no, it wouldn't be Berylon. Because they leave Berylon and then end up at Shadar Logoth. So it could be Shadar Logoth. And yeah, when I first, when you first watch it, the, the trailer, they're on the walls and what looks like Shadar Logoth. And that looks like it's a broken, broken down wall there. And like, there's a lot of domed buildings which is shed our logoth in the books so maybe they split up this is after the split up for in shed our logoth ran shooting what i'm guessing i'm guessing he's aiming at like a raven or something um 
Does he have a two rivers bow? I didn't check that the first time. Looks like it might be a big ass fucking simple bow. He's shooting with his fingers too. No wrist straps for Rand. Sorry, I'm staring at this. He's got that wool. Look at that wool coat. Stout wool. Two rivers wool. So he is gonna... I'm, I wonder if he's shooting like a crow or something. Like a spy. No matter what happens. The dagger. There's a lot of controversy over the dagger originally. I wasn't... Um, I would like it to be gaudy and flaunty like it is in the books, but I guess they went with it just because it was easier to show the dagger this way, or that because it wouldn't be on screen that much because it isn't his hilt most of the time. So I don't know. Um, but look at the way Barney Harris is fucking, or Matt is staring at this dagger. Like, that is intense and a little sinister, which is very big. <laughs> Shadar Logoth, let's go. I'm guessing this is maybe some smoke in the shadow coming over this. And we got Rand, Perrin, and Egwene. Standing there. I gotta drink some water. And then, yeah, so they're terrified. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a okay length bow, I think. I mean, Rand's supposed to be like 6'6", six, six, and that thing looks like it's up to his boob. So that's a pretty big bow. Um, yeah, anyways, back to it. So they're spooked out. So here's Egwene running to the top of the wall with Perrin. So I'm putting this together. Egwene and Perrin jump off the wall and into the river, and they... You know, that's how they get separated. There's no running through the woods scene um, when they get out of the city. And I'm wondering if that's also how Matt and Rand end up on the mountain in that sweeping panoramic shot. It's because they... Let's see if I can quickly... Go back to that scene of them. Yeah, so they jump off into the water somehow swim over here and now they're working their way to wherever they haven't gotten to the uh camelin road yet or four kings or wherever white bridge shit like that <coughs> oh yeah that's right they run down the river and they end up on bale doman's ship so if they are here that means they probably don't end up on bale's ship because that's how they go down to white bridge on Bale's ship. So these guys must just cross the river after leaving. There's no uh, there's no river crossing scene. Unless that's somehow White Bridge. I doubt it. So no Doman. No Bale in the first uh, first part of this. Bummer. No, no Pirate Hagrid. Alright, so let's go back. And yeah, so these look like the wall that they all are up on top of in that scene. Let's go back to it. Oh yeah, that's definitely that wall. Maybe that's where it's broken right there. Shadar Logoth looks fucking spooky, dude. And it's tall too. They aren't gonna chintzy out on the size of these areas. And that looks, is that the Mash Mashadar? Or is Mashadar the Black Wind? I forget which one's inside Shadar Logoth, but that's spooky. Yeah, a bunch of roofs that are caved in. Big city, though. So, yeah. So, Barney staring at somebody that's all cut up from... Oh, I wish I could go scene by scene. Oh, there we go. So, that dude has red hair. Uh, What looks like a veil or head cover. Kind of desert clothing. I think that's an Aiel. So, yikes. I hope that's not Gaul. If that's Gaul, I'm going to be upset. 
they better not. But that's definitely an, definitely an Ielman. Um, he's got the red hair, the shufa, um, you know, the ale clothing, Aiel clothing. Not sure if they really wear vests like this, but still. And he's in this cage. Yikes! No love for the uh, no love for the Aiel. Matt's like fuck. Dude, that dude is Matt. This is fucking disheveled. Like, just joke around, Matt. Please. Wolf looks good. Perrin meeting the wolf. That's pretty dope. I mean, we all... I mean, if you've read the series, you know how that goes. Wolves are important to the series. I'm glad they are at least including wolves in it. Ah, I'm going to lose my voice from this much talking. Okay, so this scene, we've got Egwene and Rand. Rand is half naked. Egwene looks like she might be full naked with a blanket over her. So I know they said they were, they said they were going to age up the characters. So I'm wondering if that is what we're seeing here. But are they in the Winespring Inn? This look, these look like the tables from that first scene where the boys were drinking brews. So is Rand just chilling at the wine spring about to get some curious how this scene comes up but i mean it is what it is i think that'll make for more interesting uh character interactions down the line if they actually have a more developed relationship and not the kind of childish thing that they have in the books <coughs> So here we have Matt and Perrin. I wonder if this is in Shadar Logoth when they're when they first get there and they find a place that they're supposed to stay before he goes out and finds the dagger. Or maybe it's after they get back. I don't remember those two being together alone, but I mean nothing it's not gonna follow the books perfectly. Rand might be going to grab Moraine to tell him about Mordith. The wheel keeps turning. Our boy Tam doing some voiceover. All right, Beltine, right? Beltine, or is it Winter Night? I, I'm sorry, I should know that. Or are they both? Yeah, Beltine, Winter Night, same thing. Either way, we're dancing and dead people. Got Red Aja. I th is this Moraine? Looks like it might be her. Black or browns, green sisters, more Nynaeve? So that's Nynaeve. I actually didn't notice this the first time around. Is this land then? I wonder if this is after that scene that we saw. I don't know. I don't know who all these dead people would be. And why they're laid out ritually. Unless maybe a bunch of Aes Sedai get killed by white cloaks? I don't know. There's some different sized bodies, too. Not sure what this is, but it's... I mean, people die. Maybe it'll be a little, you know, dark from the start. <coughs> okay, when I was watching this from the first time through, this looked... I mean, if you just look at the outside, this looks like a watercolor painting. Um... The lighting is funky on this. This just looks weird, but it looks cool. I'm down with it. I thought the, the hall would be a little bigger, though. But got our blues, our whites, our grays, our yellows, our reds, our browns, and our greens? Greens, yeah. Which ones are black? The the one. One. <laughs> so... We've got our first kind of fade look here. Look at his weird fucking mouth. His horse has a skull on it. I don't remember the horses having skulls, but at least now we'll know which horses are bad guys. Friends. So, uh, fucking Daniel Henny looks awesome. <clears throat> He's got his sword on his back. He's got his Hidori. Looking good. 
dude looks like. I don't know who's got the sword to his throat, though. He says your friends. I can't tell from the outfit who that might be. Hold on. We're going back to that scene. So, this Trollic looks beastly. I couldn't see it very good the first time I watched this, but we've got the eyeless fade where you can't really see his face. Then we've got this, like, boar's head Trollic here that looks nasty. We've got... Dude, these Trollics look fucking awesome. There's I didn't see this face. This thing is creepy as fuck. And like they're thick too. Like this this column of trollocs is like really close together. So they're not just like getting like five or six trollocs to make up parties and stuff. Like these guys are like it's a thick like they're putting money into the trollocs. Oh, friends. Oh, I can change the <laughs> playback time, huh? Hell yeah. Oh god, that eye. Alright, let me mute it. Dude, they look so good. Here's one with a chicken head. Dude, human face. Boar snout. Ram horns, ram horns. Fade looking spooky. And then we got Rand and Barney running. Does he have the dagger in that picture? Can't really tell. Oh, someone's running after them. Here, I think. I don't know who the fuck these people are. I'm gonna guess they're followers of Logan. They're part of the people that were shooting the arrows at the Aes Sedai originally. I should've just done this slow playback. Yeah, is that the dude that just had that thing on his head in the last scene? He's got a weird band, like, hat with... No, he's not in there. Oh yeah, it's this guy right here. So Lance fighting those dudes. Logan, bro. This Log Logan looks fucking scary as shit. I'm excited for this, uh, what they're gonna do with him. To, uh, as far as changing the story. Um, I mean, I read the books. I know what the story is. If they want to change it up and do something new, I'm 100% for that. I think it'd be really cool. Um, and it'd be nice to have something I don't know. Like, if I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode, it's going to make me even more excited. So he is just breaking out. of That's that cage that we were introduced to through the teasers. Uh, he must be doing where he's fucking with their weave tie off and he's like breaking it i know we see that at some point in the series with a character where he breaks out of a trap out of a certain box and gets out so that must be kind of what's going on here and he just blows these sisters back to just absolutely fucking she smashes her head off this rock Nynaeve is just awestruck. This looks like those trees that Daniel Henny was just cutting that dude up in. So there must be some type of ambush that leads them. So the arrows must come down, and then there must be, you know, the one lady blocks them, and then there must be a big fight in the woods. Because <coughs> that puts Lana and Nynaeve together. There's that, yep, and there's that dude with his axe. The dual axe guy. We're back in the tower. Moraine looks fucking this so this scene looks really good so i guess i'll get used to the colors trollocs in the background they look this dude looks more human like looks pretty good though dude looks they're huge too which is important i think trollocs are supposed to be like what eight foot tall or something like that like, at least a head taller than Ran, who's 6'6". Six, six. Moraine running through the woods. This looks maybe the shirt she got stabbed in. Daniel Henny looking good. Okay, I like the water cloak. Or Actually, yeah, let's, what's his water cloak look like? Because they said they weren't going to do the animated cloaks. Alright, so... It, 
don't know if that's a cloak or just part of his jacket. Either way, it's just gray with a sword and a tail. He's got pretty clean hair, though. That's the only thing. Like, I mean, this could just be after, like, a shower. I don't know. He's looking stoic. Taishara Malkier? I don't remember what the actual word is. So these, yeah, so these are the people. They're all on the ground. This is the angle where it was coming from up above. Definitely is where they're standing right there. Because, look, it looks like it's the same party. So this... I'm at 1.30 right now. This scene right here is definitely I didn't realize how long this was. My bad. But yeah, see, so we got the rocks here. Everyone's chilling here. Nynaeve is here. So at 1.30 We get, yeah, rocks on the left, the party in the middle. So, and then this dude with the red hat things right here. So there's definitely some battle where this happens. I love this little scene where it's, this must be winter night when Trollocs are attacking and Nynaeve has Egwene behind her. She's protecting her, but they're both got their knives up. That's awesome. And they both, I like the outfits both of them are wearing, the costume design. She's got her knife out. Here's that warder again, jumping with his two axes. I don't know what this is supposed to do. The axes, to me, don't look very good. I don't know. Loghain's shielded. Uh, who's that? Who's the Aes in the background? Is it Moraine? Oh, I think it might be Moraine. Uh, or just a blue sister? Oh, here's the here's the one I said I they got blasted. She's on the ground, so he's shielded again. I think. He's been reshielded, possibly by Moraine, after he broke out, clapped this I said I into this column. So I don't know if he killed him or maybe his that warder. Could that be him and warder madness just being silly? Then we got Lan just going through the you know. Uh, fucking peasant on the walkway or whatever however jordan does his sword forms but he cuts these three trollocs just slices them open with one twist hey there's our way gate from the trailer so now we have marcus randall i don't know if that's matt 90 90 or is that Egwene? i can't tell by the size of the braid or if that's Matt. I can't really tell. Matt might be back here, too. There's Moraine. This might be Lan. Uh, I can't tell if that is. No, that's Matt, Rand, Egwene, or Nynaeve, Lan. This is Marcus. So I'm guessing Egwene is back here with Marcus, Rudda, um, and then Moraine is there. So... Somehow Lan and Nynaeve must split up after uh, Shadar Logoth, I'm guessing. Rand and Matt split up, and then Perrin and Egwene split up, and then you get, I don't know, Moraine's off doing something. Yeah, that looks like it might be right there. That might be Egwene. Wait, there's a third person there. It could be Tom Marilyn by then. Matt, Rand, Nynaeve, Land, Marcus, Rudda, Perrin, Egwene, Moraine. Who's the, the last person? It's got to be Tom, right? Or someone said that Celine was in the trailer, which if you know who Celine is, maybe that's is a female right here? Well, no, because Egwene is a female. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I'm guessing this is a Meadral, or this might be Moraine coming into town, not the Meadral. And, like, she's got her raincoat on, and then she walks. There's that scene where she walks through the door of the village, and she's all wet and disheveled. And 
badass. Uh, I don't think I need the... Oh, yeah, I found it. This scene here. So I'm guessing this is her walking into the wine spring. It's all rainy. Yeah, she's got that dark hood on. I should have... Yeah, I'm guessing this is Moraine. Look at that fucking mouth. The me draw look terrifying. Oh my god. It's gonna suck that this is all quiet because it's just gonna be my computer fan noise in the background. But it is what it is. Look at his mouth. It's a it, this is a blur. It's a breakdown. It's a breakdown for God's sake. Eyeless. They should. I'm okay with like a weird CGI. Like can't see their eyes properly. Not like an actual texture. Is that you're you're not supposed to be able to like focus on their eyes, so I'm cool with that. The mouths look terrifying. Looks like a leech. Very cool. Kind of reminds me of a Nazgul. So we got Trolloc hooves, and they look good too. They don't look crappy. Like they look. It looks like they put a lot of effort into the Trolloc bodies. Like that is a you know that's an animal leg. That's not a human leg. Oh, you know what? There's a Trolloc here with a torch in his hand. This looks like a human, and he's feeding on her. He's, like, shaking his head. They've, dude, they have a Trolloc eating someone in the trailer. That is absolutely a Trolloc eating somebody in the fucking trailer. Like, this isn't going to be... I saw a Twitter thread today of people being like, Oh, what's it going to be rated? They're not going to do any... Ugh. Trailer has somebody being eaten by the neck. This lady's being neck eaten right now by this Trolloc. The land looks so good. That lighting is kind of cool. I'm guessing Moraine is casting the lightning down. More Trollocs in the background. Rosamund Pike looking like Moraine in distress. The ring on her hand. The... I said I ring looking good. This looks fuck this looks intense. And she is just booling. It looks like she is is that land just rolling? I hope that's land. I don't know who else that would be. But look at these flows. She's sending the lightning down. Try not to look around in the background too much, because you can kind of tell like there's stuff that's just like the things that are on fire look like they wouldn't actually be on fire. They just look like there's clearly just, like, some type of propane, like, hooked up that's on fire. Oh, yeah, it's Lan. It's, Lan does a roll as she fucking sends this voodoo wave out. She, so Lan's rolling underneath her shockwave, and then... Yo, that's badass. I did not notice that the first time I watched this. Watch this shit. Look at this shit. Look at him hold it. He rolls under the shockwave. It hits the trolloc. He stands up and just yeets that trolloc. That looks awesome. Look at that. And the trolloc looks gnarly. Like They don't look like cheap costumes. They look like actual fucking humanoid like... I, I mean, that one's got a human face, but Trollocs have human faces in the show. And horns. All right, that's so sick. And you just... And yeah, too. Also, let me... Is there... Yeah, look at that blood splatter. <laughs> this isn't... This isn't gonna be PG. Look at all that fucking blood splatter, dude. Oh, my God. And Moran Lan's chilling here. He's got her back. There's dead Trolloc here. That one looks like kind of like a human. Got a fat face, horns. That one looks all right. I'm not going to nitpick fucking Trollocs on the ground. Chill out. They all looked awesome when they're moving. Draw that one power. Lightning comes down from the sky and splits Trollocs. What do they say? You ever seen lightning split a tree? That's what it looked like on the Trollocs. So this dude, this Trolloc is just getting absolutely fucking rigmarole. 
and cut out to the wheel. Oh my god. I am so excited. <laughs> this looks awesome. I don't, oh my God, I'm gonna go back through with the real slow. I mean, we don't need to watch the initial stuff. This all, all the beginning kind of starts slower because they don't really, and there's not much going on. The boys and that, yeah. They're riding. The guy's sad. She's doing this scene, all the colors, hint, hint. The city, I don't think there's much to really break down in here. Dragon Mount looks awesome. Yeah, Moraine coming in. River flow in. Everyone's standing in the hall of the tower. Hey, let's play name that I said I. I'd rather not. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, is she the keeper of the Chronicles then? Leanne Sharif? Is that who the lady I said I didn't know who it was? I bet that's who it is. That's neat. So these whites, I wonder if one's Alviran. And then Galena. Is one of these Galena? Or no, Galena was the backwood, or the back door. Or is this Galena? I don't know. Moraine being healed. Something must happen. I don't know. Maybe it's after Shatter Logoth. She takes a fucking bullet to the knee. Arrow to the knee. Winter Night stuff. Angry Eyes to Die. I bet she's Black Aja. Dollars to Donuts. So yeah, now we're back here. I think I started doing the... The slow breakdown. Here. Our boys. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. I am so excited for this. Let me find a good backdrop to keep this on. I was thinking the scene where dragon mounts in the background. So, what do I think? I think... Actually, I like it even more after than my initial watch through. When I first watched through, I thought that the some of the costumes looked a bit goofy. Uh, specifically, that one order with the two axes, I thought that looked a bit silly. I don't know why. It just I thought it looked kind of cheap. I thought the weapons looked cheap. Um, I have no basis for that opinion. I'm not any type of person that's fluent with costume designs or anything like that. Uh, some of these backdrops, I'm interested how they'll look in the show with the finalized CGI. This looks fine to me. To be honest, I've got it 1080p blown up on my computer. So maybe when I watch it, if I watch this in 4K on my big screen TV, then it might look a little iffy. So we'll see what they do. Um, all the cities look cool. If that was Shadar Logoth in the back of the one drop, Shadar Logoth looked dope. Tarvalon, Tarvalon, Tarvalon. I'll never get it right. Looks dope. Um, maybe it's not exactly how you pictured it in the books. It still looks good. It looks like a, the center of power in the world. Looking awesome. Uh, what other big things do we have? We get better views of the Trollocs and Midral. The Midral look awesome. I'm down with it. The horses with the skulls are cool. Um, yeah, I mean, they don't really show their mouths that much, like the teeth that much in the show uh, or in the books. I think they just have a weird like lipless or like lip curling that they do. Uh, I think the only one that really smiles is uh, Sh Shadar Harand, but spoilers with that character, so I won't get into it, but y'all know what I mean. You bookies know what I mean. Uh, weaves. We get weaves. Um, 
These are the these little tendrils of CGI magic that look like wisps of smoke are our weaves. Um, this is Sidar. I don't know how a Sidene will look. Well, wait, no, we do. Because unless when he does that explosion, if that's Sidene, then we do know what Sidene looks like. And it looks just like Sidar, which is kind of lame, I think. But I guess it'll keep people from being confused. I don't know. Or that might just be him blowing the uh, the shield back. Uh, costumes for Aes Sedai is another big thing. I like the gaudiness of the reds. I think, like I said, in my brain, I want this to be some fucking medieval backwoods thing. And it's not medieval. Like, these are well, like well-respected individuals that are proud of their Aja. They wear colored clothing. It is what it is, so... Ah, I'm down with it. And I think I said, we said this was Leanne, Liana, Leanne Sharif. I don't know. Keeper of the Chronicles. She's got her staff. She looks pretty good. Um, I think she'll fit. She fits the description pretty well. Um, it'll be interesting to see the late storyline of the Omerland and see how that goes. My headphones just died. And we're back, baby. So yeah, their late story I think will be good uh, with both of them. We protect the world. Yeah, this is the scene that threw me off initially. These two, uh, these two warders. I, I don't think the warder costumes are anything to write home about. That's my biggest criticism. Sets look all right. I mean, this grass looks kind of funky. It is what it is. Sets look good. It's season one, man. They'll figure it out. They do, uh, like I said, they do look a little goofy. It's, I don't know why. It's just probably the time period my brain will get used to the costumes. I'm used to modern or medieval. Wheel of Time is not medieval. Wheel of Time is not modern. It's somewhere in between. I'll get used to it. Music badass in this trailer. These boys doing their thing. Oh yeah, another big, that's another big thing. Uh, the split up from Shadar Logoth. It looks like it happens um, a little differently. No boat boys. I'm guessing they all just, they got to jump off that wall into the river. That's how they get away. I think that's probably why the city is on the river. Because I don't think it's on the river in the books. But it do, do be looking creepy as fuck. Yeah. Egwene and Perrin definitely jump into the water. Um, me draw channeling. Oh, duh. It's just the boys. It's the fucking boys, man. Look at them. They look what I imagined. I love it. I think if you're still hating on this cast at this point without actually seeing them act and seeing them in these trailers, like, I don't know. Rand looks like an awkward farm boy. I grew up on a farm. I didn't have a cell phone until I was in high school. I grew up in isolation. I know what it's like to be an awkward farm boy. Rand looks like an awkward farm boy. Matt looks like a, my fucking, like one of my goofball yeehaw friends. Like, for those of you that know, that's Al Fitz. Matt Fitz, Matt is Al Fitz. And Perrin, I don't know. Perrin just looks good. I don't think Marcus is going to be a good Perrin. And then Nynaeve and Egwene, obviously. Fuck it. And it looks about right. The set locations look awesome. Sawan so Sanche looks badass. She looks like she it's she's like the guy that plays Gustavo Fring. Like, she captures that kind of persona. Like just like, she looks like she's got that, like, boss attitude. Tower. Be interesting. Is this... 
Uh, no, that's we established that that might be a lot. Oh, so these are the this is that group of Aes Sedai that is getting attacked by those arrows. So I wonder if this is like on their way to the two rivers, or maybe Moraine helps capture Loghain. Yeah, because these Aes Sedai are there getting attacked. Yeah. So Mar she might be involved in the whole Loghain thing. Because this is that party. This is She's got that headband, the sister with the head covering. And then there's a the couple red sisters that are... I don't know if the blonde one's there. Let me see if I can find that scene where they're getting arrows launched at them. World. Yep, there it is. Red. That looks like that crew that's coming out of the tower. And then Moraine is when Logan's doing his little dealy. Like there's all that crew. Logan, 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 Logan. Yeah, I don't know. So that looks like they might all be involved in something. I bet that's before they meet up with the Two Rivers kids. So I'm guessing that is the, this party to capture Loghain happens as an introduction for the series. There's got to be something like that. And then it goes, we go to the Two Rivers somehow because I, I don't know how it would work otherwise because Moraine is with that party or something. They get attacked by Loghain's followers Logan breaks free or whatever, or they recapture him. Maybe Marine gets injured in the process. That's why she's not with him or something. And she ends up in the two rivers somehow. I didn't know. But that's my guess. I didn't actually say anything definite, but that's my guess. Waygate. Interesting. Uh, there's no nothing around the Waygate. Kind of funky. I don't know, man. Is what it is. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. I don't know, guys. This looks fucking badass. I'm so excited. Wheel of Time, Waygate, Moraine just blasting things. This show's gonna rock. I'm getting my hopes up. I'm gonna try and keep them low. I'm gonna only focus on the negatives for the next two months. My birthday's in November, so, like, drop, you know even more trailer close to the show november 3rd that'd be sweet i don't know guys this this looks awesome i if you want if anyone ends up watching this whole video let me know what you think about this because i am so excited like there's a lot of good promising stuff i hope the channeling gets some more colors maybe the warder costumes will evolve over the show but other than that, man, like the stuff that I want is there. The Trollocs look badass. Midral look badass. The Emmonsfield Five look badass. The scenery looks badass. Uh, the Aes Sedai, I, was, I came around on. I was a little iffy on that first, but, you know, they're supposed to look gaudy. Like, they look badass. That action scene of land rolling and stabbing underneath more. Like, that's, like, come on. That's awesome. Let's go. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Anyways, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching to this point. If you've made it, I am going to go ahead and just end the video there um, on a abrupt note. Thanks for like fucking wheel of time, guys. Let's go. This, this is going to rock. Let me know what you think. All right, I'm about to hit play on the video. Sorry about the fan noise. Let's go.
turn volume way up. Oh shit, it's fucking yo, not even a queen look. Be strong. Bruh, what? She just pushed her off the cliff. The wheel of time turns. And ages. Grand, still. it's the boy. Oh, I'm gonna watch this thing through. Leaving memories. Bro, drag him out. Turn him on. Look so I'm not, I'm not good at this. Wolves, alright, we got some wolf stuff. We got naked random, naked Egwene. That way game just in the middle of nowhere is kind of... The fuck did draw my heart? Bro, let's go! I did not expect that long of a trailer. I should have done this on my stream.